hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is jimaima today we are going to continue the series of accreditation in medical school and what it takes for a medical school to be fully accredited this is a part two if you've not seen the part one please go see it i'll put the link up for you with that said let's continue now for the second visitation during the first year before writing first professional examinations in anatomy physiology medical biochemistry and other subjects like genetics medical psychology public health science medical sociology and biostatistics now this is the stage at which this pioneer student note i keep on saying pioneer student as the first set to be admitted into the school this is the stage at which these pioneer students are about to write their first professional MB. That's that exam that is written at the end of 300 level that would promote them into 400 level. So probably they are still in 300 level first semester or they are in 200 level second semester about to enter 300 level. All I'm trying to say is this second visit must be carried out before they can be allowed to sit for their first professional exam that is why you see many schools stall and delay before their pioneer students write first professional exam it's because they are waiting for this accreditation by the mdcn now for the third visitation during the third year that's the second year in the four-year post baccalaureate program if that is what council approved for the school what all this means is that if the school is carrying out a four-year mbbs program like there are some schools that make their students to graduate from a first degree before they can be admitted into medical school. That one does not apply to most of us here in Nigeria because most medical schools in Nigeria run a six-year program. So at this point, we are talking about before they write their third MBBS exam. During the third year, before the second professional exam in pharmacology and the science of pathology, the visit will also evaluate the facilities for clinical training for the next stage of the visitation, which is after writing the second professional examination. So at this point, MDCN wants to know how prepared is this medical school for clinicals. This is actually done while the pioneer students are in 400 level about to write their second professional exam, PAT and FAM. Before they can move up to 500 level, the school needs to receive another visitation to be sure that the school have all the facilities prepared for clinical training of these medical students. Now for the fourth and final visitation. Before writing their final professional examination in obstetrics and gynecology, pediatrics, psychiatry, medicine, surgery, and community medicine and primary care in the fourth or fifth year of training. So this is a fourth visitation. This is the stage at which MDCN will visit the school to be sure that their pioneer students have been trained to be sure that this school is ready to actually graduate this final year student. So this is done just before writing their 500 level professional exam or their 600 level professional exams. If the school goes through all these four visitations and then they scale through, by the time they have graduated and done sponsor for their pioneer sets, that is only when you can say a school is fully accredited. If a school have not graduated their pioneer set, you cannot call that medical school fully accredited. They are partially accredited it takes a while so you have to be patient and pray that your school goes through all these steps without delays because if there's a delay at any step it will delay the graduation year of course subsequently there will be re-accreditation visitation to any accredited medical school every five years after the first visitation council may arrange the visitation to an institution if there is a good reason for doing so such as infringement of minimum standard so where defects have been identified that require corrective actions within a specific period of time on the part of the visitation a verification visitation may be undertaken to ensure that such defects have been corrected all this means is that after the school have been fully accredited every five years mdcn will still visit them that is why you get to hear that certain schools have lost their accreditation just like that and of course if mdcn comes to visit and they put down requirements and they make recommendations MDCN will certainly come to visit again to ensure that the recommendations that they gave last time have been fulfilled. So with all these points of mind, I hope I have been able to convince you that accreditation in medical school in Nigeria is not something you just get like that once. It takes a series of steps. It takes years before a school can be called fully accredited. If there's anything that I missed out, you're free to drop questions in the comments box. I'll be happy to reply. By next week, I am going to upload another video of a frequently asked question. I remain your girl Jemima. Bye.